All right, this is Wall Crawl. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing the Money Farm Loop. I know that sounds exciting, but um, it's it, it really helps to go ahead and do it this way. You, you don't have to worry about getting money in some other fashion. This is what I use right in the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and I will equip um, my fragile strength and this is going to be my charms that i use right now while i have four charm notches now i'm going to try to get to about um 900 geo and then after i get to 900 900 geo i'm gonna um go and purchase something and then i'll have it purchased uh, and it, it'll be like some more charm notches and things like that that'll help me with the money farm loop. And I'll continue until I have a grand total of about um, 3,200 geo. So not 3,200 more on top of the 900, but uh, all in total, that's how much we're farming. So basically here at Green Path, you sit on this bench and you go out this way and you go up here and you kill those leaf guys. So when you don't have um, you don't have fragile greed equipped, it's going to get you. I'm not quite sure. I think it gets you like 112 with fragile greed equipped. So it's probably going to get you something like 80, maybe a little less um, each time you go through. Now you basically just kill this guy and then. You kill this dude, and then you head all the way back down. So it's three bad guys. Um, these guys give you 40 each, and then the other one gives you like eight or something. So, and then once you have them killed, you don't you don't have to worry about anything else being in the way. You just go all the way back down, and you reset all those guys and reset your own masks with. Um, you know, with the bench, so you just go back and forth, and you do this. It it is monotonous. It takes a little while, but um, to me, it unlocks a whole lot. It allows me to keep um my collection of goodies. Now, and furthermore, I'm gonna buy some things that I wouldn't be able to buy now anyway. Um because I'm just not at a place where I can sell. I could go and work my way into a new area, but I'd rather have the stuff um, now and be prepared to, to move ahead this way. So I, I, I greatly recommend you just doing it and, and money farming. It doesn't take, it really doesn't take that long. I just gotta sit and just chill for a bit. I'm gonna do two more of these and then I'll go ahead and show you where Salubra is, and we'll get her upgrades, his or her, I have no idea, and, and uh, then I can leave you to it to uh, get the remaining, like, 2300 Geo. I'll just pick up my next video with that much money and show you where to go. Alright, so just... Again, you can be kind of reckless with these dudes. If you get low enough and you want to back out and just go down to the bench, yeah, do it. But, um, so, they also hate getting shot, as uh, I would say most people do. Um, so, no, oh, you're still allowed? Okay, so heading down, I'm going to do this one more time, and then we'll go see Salubra. And that'll change the charm combination of what we want to use as we're doing this and allow us to get even more money from the loop. Okay, right now I think we're getting 88, and then we'll get like 112. All right. You know, cat, I have like a cat who's deciding to like absolutely ruin my game playing. Okay. Yeah, sure, you can sit there. 
Okay. So almost done. Boom. You're dead. Okay. So as you see, I mean, that has not taken me long. And I've already gotten a, a good haul. I'm going to go this way. I am going to go ahead and sit on this bench. And I'm going to take a ride to the Forgotten Crossroads. That's what's close to Salubra. Okay, here's Tiso. You want to talk to him again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you're really worried about the um, having unbreakable strength on, feel free to rotate it out. I'm I'm okay with just having it this short little walk. Um, so, cause yeah, I definitely understand not wanting to regrind for it, but. Um, there's hardly enough enemies to die from if you follow this little pattern. So, coming over here. Now that you have the dash, um, you can get in here to Salubra. Ooh. And it talks to you. Okay. In here with Salubra, you're going to buy the Shaman Stone and two... Of his charm notches. Here's Shaman Stone. What that does is it makes your spells way stronger. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to buy a charm notch. And he gives you more and more based on how many charms you have acquired. And a charm notch. That's pretty much all you can get right now. But having two charm notches and that particular um, Shaman Stone. Uh, it, it opens up some opportunities for you for it, it just makes your um, your money farming go easier go faster so we're just gonna backtrack and go back to green path where you can continue your money loop back up here well up here and then take an immediate left and ride on up to Green Path. Mm -hmm. Okay, and one of, one of the things you, you're you're here to do is you're here to get enough money to get the Luma Fly Lantern, so you can go to uh, Crystal Peaks next. All right, so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use these two charms and you're going to add Fragile Greed to it. Now, again, this is not necessarily how you want to run around the game, but this is how you want to run your, your money farming. I'm going to do it like two more times and then I'll just see you guys next time once I have all this money. Because um, I don't think you want to watch me grind all the way up but now he gives me a good little bit more so these two guys yep not too bad when he pops up and shoot him just for excitement wouldn't you love to be in a pile of leaves and you're like what something's going on up there and then you like pop up out of your leaves and you just get like shot right away like, golly. Yeah. Well, that's what happened. Okay. Reset it. And one more time. And so I really do think it's now 112. So this dude gives me 10. That's what I'm thinking. Pop pow. He gives me 10. Yeah. And each of these guys give me 51. Pow, pow, whack, swap. 51 and pow, pow, whack. All right. And he's given me 51. So it's 112. 
All right, hopping this way. That'll be enough for me right now. I will see you guys when I have um, uh, 2,300 Geo all farmed up. So there's about 20 more runs back and forth, a little bit less. And um, then we'll go buy a bunch of stuff and head on to the Crystal Peaks. I hope to see you there. Okay, so I have done my money farming. I got a bunch of cash now. And um, do this until you have 2,350 Geo at least. And that's 1,800 for the Luma Fly Lantern that we're about to go buy. And 550 for the Vessel Fragment that we talked about buying earlier, but we couldn't because we didn't have the money. And that was fine. Before we go, we're going to go ahead and rotate out our charms. What we were using was Fragile Strength, so we killed these guys faster. Fragile Greed, so we got more money off them. And Gathering Swarm, so it put it all in our pocket. We'll keep Gathering Swarm, but I just like to put it in a better order. So first I'm going to put Shaman Stone on. Then I'm going to put Soul Catcher on. And then I'm going to put Gathering Swarm on. So that's back to kind of normal since we're no longer in this uh, money loop and we would run the risk perhaps of breaking our fragiles. So we're gonna go and now that we're back to real gaming, we're gonna go up to Dirtmouth and we're gonna do some buying and then we'll bench up there and finish this out. Okie dokie. So both the items we need come from Sly We will purchase this vessel fragment from him. And when you get three of those, like I got four mask shards and they gave me an extra mask. With three of those, they give you a smaller little uh, ball by where you have your uh, soul meter. And it allows for, like, for an additional blast of soul or an additional heal. And you can do that several times, but you have to have find three vessel fragments for each one of those. And here's our Luma Fly Lantern. And we want that. It's kind of expensive. All right. That's good. And so we're all good to go to our next area. Now, I'm going to go a little bit out of sequence. And I'm going to go to the Crystal Peaks for just a little bit before we head on to City of Tears. Normally, City of Tears is where we're supposed to be going. But I'm going to go up there and grab something. Um, but you can check that out in uh, the next video. So give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see everybody then. Thanks for following.